everyone. Welcome to the Radio English Conversation Program. This is Masakyo Sugi, and here with me are Valerie King and Jeff Clark. さて、えー、今日はゲストアワーですが、えー、今回のゲストは、English Through Drama、えー。ドラマを通して、えー、英語を学ぼうという、そういう活動をしていらっしゃる、リチャード・バイヤーさんです。えー、で、バイヤーさんは、えー、フルブライトで来日して以来、学生演劇をも、えー、いろいろ手伝って、えー、くださっている方です。では、バレリーがインタビューをしてきましたので、お聞きください。Well, I'm here today at the Model Language Studio in Tokyo with Mr. Richard Vaya, who is an educational specialist at the East West Center in Hawaii. Hello,、uh, Mr. Vaya. It's nice to have you here. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. You're here this time for a special seminar in English through drama, is that right? Yes.、Mm -hmm. And you come frequently to do this kind of thing? I usually come at least once a year.、Uh -huh. um, you yourself.、Uh, Have been, still are perhaps, a professional actor, have been involved in theater for most of your life.、Um, I understand that since you were a small child, you wanted to be an actor. Is this correct? It started, I think, when I was about five or six years old, that I wanted to be an actor. Somewhere in high school,、uh, I realized that that wasn't very smart. <laughs> <laughs> to Why? Make... Why is that? Oh, it's just so difficult. And I luckily had a teacher in high school that、uh, let us know how smart it was. And there were a lot of movies at that time、mm -hmm. showing、uh, people going to New York trying to get in the stage.、Mm -hmm. And so I knew it was very difficult and very foolish. So I tried to become a rural sociologist. Instead of an actor. <laughs> instead of an actor. But acting finally went out. But you must have had.、Uh, As well as any other artist, many of those troubles. How did you surmount them? And how did you get into the theater world ultimately? Professionally,、uh, I had done some summer theater.、Mm -hmm. So I'd had two seasons of summer theater. So that I had done about 18 plays, I guess, professionally.、Mm -hmm. uh, then when I finally went to New York to try to get onto the New York stage, Uh, I got into something like off Broadway,、mm -hmm. uh, playing a, a very good part. Someone did see me, and about three weeks later, passed me on the street and said, Did you know they're casting Junior Miss?、Mm -hmm. And I said, No.、Uh, I went immediately、yes. to the theater.、Mm -hmm. And so I was lucky because within three months of arriving in New York, I had my first Broadway part. That's tremendous luck. Now, I was very successful for the first three years, maybe. On Broadway?、Uh, on Broadway, and then I went with USO、mm -hmm. to Europe, and then also to Japan. So I came to Japan first in 1946. A very active time here.、Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, I started losing my hair. <laughs> <and> <laughs> It was very difficult to get a job because I had a baby face and no hair. And one year I made only $600. In the entire year? In the entire year. But I had seen the movies.、Mm -hmm. and I, so I had always saved money. So I lived on my savings、mm -hmm. for those difficult years.、Mm -hmm. And I managed to survive.、Uh, I was never unhappy.、Mm -hmm. My family saved most of the letters that I wrote home. And I read them now and I think, what a fool. What a fool. <laughs> Why do you think, what a fool? They are so optimistic.、Uh -huh. Just around the corner, I was going to be a big success. And I think actors have to have that. Artists have to have that.、Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, they're going to be discovered.、Mm -hmm. Well, you are a big success. It's, it's obviously been your. Uh, a plus for you, being optimistic all your life, obviously. I think、uh, being optimistic or thinking something wonderful is going to happen also keeps you young.、Mm -hmm. you know, I can't, 
Next month, I'll be 65. Well, this is amazing to me. You, you talk about a baby face, and you certainly have that still at age 65. That's incredible. And I'm still wondering what I'm going to do when I grow up. So, <laughs> <laughs> その MLS モデル・ラングリッシュ・スティリオというところでのワークショップで年に1回来日するというこのバイアさんなんですが彼自身は5、6歳で役者を目指したそうですがハイスクールではあんなのバカバカしいからって言ってやめたんだそうですねその後ウーロー・ソーシャロジストさあどんな社会学者なのかよく分かりませんがそういうものになろうとしたんだそうですねそれから、まあ、ニューヨークへ出て実は偶然こういうことがあるんでしょうねえラッキーなことにブロードウェイでの役をいきなり掴んだというわけですねで3年くらいは、えー、この成功していたあというわけですが、えー、しかし、えー、徐々に具合が悪くなって1年に600ドルしか稼げなかった年もあったというわけですねそれでも「never unhappy」不幸だったことはないというような言い方をしていました、uh, What was your favorite role? When you were active on stage, do you have a favorite role?、Mm, gee, I've never been asked that.、Um, uh, I loved playing Sir Andrew a g e c h e e k in Twelfth Night.、Mm-hmm. And I'm not a big fan of Shakespeare, but I love、uh, certain Shakespearean plays.、Yes. Oh, certainly I'm a fan of Shakespeare, but I'm not a,、uh, I don't love to go see most Shakespeare,、oh. and I don't really enjoy playing. A lot of Shakespeare, but Sir Andrew a g e c h e e k I really enjoy. I, I imagine you get asked this question a lot, and I'm going to ask it anyway. When you are constantly on stage playing the roles of thousands of characters, different ones year after year, do you begin to lose a sense of your own character, or is there always a stable core of who, who is Richard Via, who I am? Uh, does that ever change? Do you ever begin to think you are one of the characters you're playing? No, I don't think so. If you follow the Stanislavski system of acting, which, which, is? Uh, which is the one I read, he was the great、uh, Russian、mm-hmm. director, and he wrote many books on the method of acting. And if you follow that, then you must never get away from yourself. So I. To、maybe the simplest way to say, I cannot become anyone else. I cannot become another character. But I can make that character become me.、Mm-hmm. And when that happens, then we have what we might call truth or honesty.、Mm-hmm. And so we all have so many facets. I like to say, like a diamond.、Mm-hmm. And these facets up on top that sparkle the most are what we recognize as each person. So these facets. Oh, oh, I recognize that. That's Dick Fire.、Mm-hmm. But on the side, there are facets that I know. Maybe I know all, but my students will know some. My family will know some.、Mm-hmm. Some friends will know some.、Mm-hmm. And underneath, there may be facets that are not so good, maybe chipped.、Mm-hmm. And so the role I play may be a not so good.、Mm-hmm. But for the performance, I can bring that forward to the top and show that part of me.、Mm-hmm. And people will not realize. That that's really me.、Mm-hmm. So I'm always showing myself. I never pretend.、Mm-hmm. So it's possible to play any role then, do you think? Do you think we have within us every role in the world somewhere in our diamond? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> there's also Stanislavski gave us the magic if. <laughs> <laughs> if. I were in this situation, if I had to do this particular thing, if I had to say these words, how would I say them?、Mm-hmm. How would I perform the act? How would I do it? So it always comes from the self.、Mm-hmm. Maybe in the workshop you heard people talk about self, understanding self,、yes. appreciating self. Yes, this is something I'm very interested in. Maybe we can talk more about it next week.、Okay. Um, But I'd like to move on a little bit in your career. You became a Stanislavski in a sense. You have moved on to stage directing、yes. as well. What led you to that? What transition?、Um, in 1957, I went to Hollywood、uh, hoping I would make TV、mm. or movies.、Mm-hmm. Uh, my agent got sick almost immediately upon arrival.、Mm-hmm. So suddenly I was back in New York. 
and uh, Henry Fonda and Anne Bancroft were working on Two for the Seesaw, and Henry Fonda uh, wanted someone to help him uh, with his lines because we believe you don't memorize lines, you always say the lines to someone and get feedback. Mm -hmm. And therefore you can learn the lines, mm -hmm. always talking to someone rather than reading. Uh, so I met with Henry Fonda every day uh, to help him with his lines. And the play was very complicated technically, mm -hmm. and so I became a stage manager mm -hmm. on the play. Mm -hmm. And I think it was just that. So then I went from Two for the Seesaw to Miracle Worker mm -hmm. with Anne Bancroft. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of my, my job was then to train the actors. So that kind of led into the directing. Well, you've done so many things. You also uh, worked or traveled around with the Hungarian National Ballet. Yeah, right. Now, that's yes. another jump, I would say. <laughs> you didn't dance with them, I understand. Oh, no. In fact, it wasn't a ballet. I don't know why they used the term ballet. It was 110. Uh, there were musicians, uh, but it was all folk dancing. Uh -huh. And wonderful, only two or three of the people spoke any English. <laughs> Uh, so it was wonderful preparation for my coming to Japan because I had to deal with 110 people mm -hmm. uh, who did not speak English. So it was uh, mostly body language because Hungarian is just so different. It's not like any of the other right. European languages. Mm -hmm. What were you doing with the group? I was stage manager. You were stage manager. Yes. Uh -huh. And you managed to communicate somehow. Yes. <laughs> and as you say, it was good preparation for, I guess, Very. <laughs> any other future foreign experiences. And then you came to Japan with um, Hello Dolly, is that right? Yes. Actually, uh, I came with Japan with Hello Dolly before the Hungarian Ballet. Oh, I see. I thought I was coming back sooner, but I came with the uh, Mary Martin production mm -hmm. of Hello Dolly. I must admit, I had a very brief, uh, well, not brief, I should say, small chorus role in Hello, Dolly, once myself. Oh, really? So I had some real affection for the play, <laughs> for the musical. I loved it. さて、バイアさんの好きな役はと聞かれて、シェイクスピアのジュニアに出てくる役がいいなというふうに言っていましたが、えー、ロシアの有名なあこの演技の理論家といいますかスタニスロフスキーという人がいるそうなんですが、えー、その人の理論をいろいろ語っていましたねその中で面白かったのは「I can make that character become me」なんて言ってました、えー、その役を自分にさせてしまうんだというような言い方でしたねですから「I never pretend」えー、この、えー、予想うことをしたことはないと。I always show myself とも言っていました。自分自身をいつも見せてるという言い方をしていましたね。えー、そして、えー、self、その、えー、自己ということをよく考えて、how would I do it? 俺なら私ならどうやるだろうというふうにいつも考えるんだと、えー、そういうことが基本になっているようですさあそれから話は飛んで実はハンガリアン・バレエという、えー、このグループとあの仕事をしたそうですが110人のハンガリー人のうちほとんど英語をしゃべれないということで、えー、そのグループとステージマネージャーとして付き合ったそうですがその経験が日本にやってくるいいこの下準備になったというような話をしていましたねそれから途中でヘンリー・フォンダやアン・バンクロフトと出会った話も、えー、ありました、えー、話の中で意外なことに、えー、実は、えー、バレリーも、えー、このハロー通りの中で小さな役をやったことがあるという意外なこの事実が分かってきましたね。I found it a very enlightening discussion. I thought some of the principles of Stanislavski、uh, might be helpful to our listeners as well.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, to try to put themselves in the role. Mm -hmm. And、um, say, speak to somebody,、mm -hmm. you know, even if it's up to the mirror. That's right.、Uh, that's rather that's than right. just、yes. memorizing it cold.、Um, but certainly,、uh, Mr. Vaya is, a, like he said, a person with many facets, a real diamond.、Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to hearing more from him next week. Well,、uh, this is Masaki Osugi saying bye. And this is Valerie Kane. And Jeff Clark saying bye bye. So long. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Radio English Conversation program. This is Masaki Osugi, and here with me are Valerie Kane and Jeff Clark.
さて、今日はゲストアワーですけれども、えー、今回のゲストは、えー、前回に引き続いて、リチャード・バイアさんです。えー、バイアさんは、English Through Drama、えー、ドラマを通じての英語教育ということを提唱なさって、えー、精力的に活動を続けていらっしゃいます。Welcome back, Dick. Oh, it's very good to be back. It's nice to have you again.、Um, let's move right on、okay. into Japan.、Um, you came. Here to teach college students、uh, English to drama? Drama? English? <laughs> What exactly? I came to Japan、uh, on a Fulbright thinking that I was going to teach Western acting styles.、Mm -hmm. Maybe that's it.、Mm -hmm. uh, when I got here,、uh, that was I guess, the first shock. I found、uh, they don't teach Western acting styles. In, Japanese universities.、Mm -hmm. And actually, why should they? <laughs> <laughs> True.、Uh, so I was given an office at the American Cultural Center and told to create a program. Create a program. Any program. <laughs> create a program. And that, that, that's, when you say that to an actor or director, you're really in trouble. <laughs>、uh, what I did was I had, did have name cards from several people that had attended the lecture. That I'd given when I was with Hello Dolly.、Mm -hmm. And I found out there were students and that they were interested in plays and、uh, did competition plays,、mm -hmm. but they were interested to learn English.、Mm -hmm. So I, went to, I was invited to come and see the plays and、uh, to give advice.、Mm -hmm. And the first place I went was to Gakshuen. And I have to admit that I was. Greatly shocked because they were doing an old play, an old Eugene O'Neill play called Where the Cross is Made.、Uh -huh. And you were shocked because it was an old play? Well, partially, why would young people want to do this play?、Yeah. <laughs> uh, mainly by the acting.、Oh. Because they were overacting so terribly, <laughs> and the movement was slow and ponderous. It was just so heavy. <clears throat>、oh, and so afterwards, I. Gather them around, and I said, Now, what I want to do is show you what, how we would do it if I were doing, going to direct it in New York. And I gave all sorts of advice on what they should do in the movement stand up straight, don't bend over, don't moan,、uh, all of these things, don't cry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and so they took notes and agreed with me on everything. And then the next week I came back. And they started rehearsal and they did it exactly the same way. Exactly the same way, in spite of all your wonderful <laughs> advice? And I was, I have to admit, I was rather annoyed.、Yeah. I felt like, gee, I've given my time and they're not really paying attention. So I said, why? Why do you do it? You know, you ask me to come out here and I give you the best information I can give you. Why don't you do it?、Mm -hmm. And they said, eh?、Um. So. Then I realized they had not understood anything、oh, yeah. that I had said. There was miscommunication on both parts.、Mm -hmm. so, A fine start for <laughs> someone who's going to be teaching English through drama, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, even then I didn't.、Uh, oh, yes, I would help them with English, but I, I never thought that we would, that I'd ever get interested in teaching English through drama.、Oh. My purpose was really just to try to get. A good play to help them present a play.、Mm -hmm. In English. In English.、Mm -hmm. And so I went to, oh, maybe 15 different universities and tried to help them.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, finally, two students came to me and said, You know, there's so many universities, why don't you start from the beginning and you direct a play and bring students from the universities to be the actors? Then they will learn. How to do it. And then they go back to their universities and direct.、Mm -hmm. Of course, that was very smart.、Yeah. And so we formed something called model production because this was to be a model、mm -hmm. and it was to be just a one time thing so that people would learn.、Uh, actually, I guess maybe before that, I began to realize that the Japanese, like most amateur actors, so I'm not saying it's、uh, because they're Japanese,、mm -hmm. uh, like most amateur actors, Is memorize the lines,、mm. memorize, recite, stand in the right place.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> and 
on an amateur production very often will say, oh, it was very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Nobody forgot their lines. <laughs> and so that's the criteria. Not, <laughs> was it a moving play? Was it a funny play? Mm -hmm. So I realized that the whole thing of communication was lost. And that happens with amateur actors in the United States. Mm -hmm. So that the whole purpose of theater is communicating. First, communicating between actors, and then those actors communicating the idea to the audience. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing of communication was gone. さてフルブライトでやってきたというこのガイアさんですが最初は劇を教えるということがこの主な目的であったようですねでそれからこの大学日本の大学を回って若い人たちがどういうこの劇をやっているかというところで見て驚いたというんですがそれはまあ古いまず劇をやっていた例えば友人オニールの劇をやっていたというようなことでも驚いたそうですがその演技が古臭いという点でも驚いたというわけですねまあ大げさな動き、えー、そういう古臭い演技はもうやめろというふうに言ったんだそうですが、えー、散々いろいろ話した挙句が結局は自分の言ったことがちょっとも分かっていなかったということでまた驚いたというわけでつまり英語がよく分かっていなかったということから、えー、少しずつ劇そのものから英語教育の方にだんだん興味が移っていったのかもしれませんね。So could you maybe in a word, in a sentence, in your own way, summarize what the basic theory or principle of English to drama is? Oh, I don't know whether I can do it in a word. Well, There are certain... <laughs> as long as you like. <laughs> you must be yourself. Maybe I said that last week, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You cannot be anyone else. And so to know, for the Japanese student, maybe the thing to say is, English belongs to you, to the Japanese speaker of English. It belongs to anybody who speaks English. And the Japanese need not feel that he must use English as an American or an English person uses it. He uses it as a Japanese to express his Japanese-ness, to express his belief, his thinking, and that he must express himself. And then he will communicate much stronger. I'm a great believer in English as an international language. As opposed to English as a foreign or English as a second language. Mm -hmm. Because the largest number of speakers of English are non native speakers.、Mm -hmm. And so they own it more than we do.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? <laughs> Now I got away from what you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many soapboxes. <laughs>、uh, relaxation.、Uh, we must be relaxed. And it's relaxed concentration. So it's not that we're asleep,、mm -hmm. but that I am concerned with what I am doing. And if I'm really concerned in communication, then I'm not worried that somebody is watching me or that I may be making a fool of myself or that my hands may be flying all around with gestures or whatever. But I'm really trying to communicate. So relaxation, being the self, and relaxation.、Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe two big keys.、Mm -hmm. And the drama aspect, of course, is simply to put feelings and、uh, moods with the language. Yeah. So、to、that the language can live. Yeah, to add yourself. Because,、mm -hmm. you know, what, what happens in most language teaching is vocabulary plus structure equals language.、Mm -hmm. And that is not true.、Mm -hmm. Vocabulary plus structure equals vocabulary plus structure. Yes. <laughs> And so, until we add ourselves to the language of what we're trying to do, a friend of mine has what he calls the five senses for language learners.、Mm -hmm. And it's a sense of self, a sense of who you're talking to, a sense of their relationship, a sense of where you are, and a sense of what you're trying to do,、mm -hmm. of what is your goal. And if you keep those, In mind, you know, when you have a dialogue or a play or whatever,、mm -hmm. then it would work.、Mm -hmm. Well, those are the things that we have naturally when we speak our own language. Absolutely. And somehow they get lost when we think we have to speak another language. We put them away 
uh, and think we need to pick up new senses. And I guess that's where the mistakes begin, really, is, is losing ourselves, as you say. Yeah. I guess I'm sure there are many problems, or perhaps there aren't problems, but people like to claim that there are problems with such methods. Um, one that comes to mind as a possible problem is uh, a Japanese student trying to be themselves and express themselves, be honest about what they're feeling and express themselves in English, yet not having any cultural cues or context um, to speak from. In other words, if I'm very sad, I can express it quite naturally as a native English speaker. Uh, a Japanese person may feel the same sadness, but not quite know the words, or even have the right vocabulary. I don't mean right that there are only certain mm -hmm. words, but not know the vocabulary for sadness, for example. How would you uh, guide someone in that situation? Okay, if it's in a play, then naturally we have the words written out, and there may be uh -huh. new words. Certainly we have to have the vocabulary before, before we can do any of these things. Mm -hmm. So there is, uh, well, it's a you said the drama method. I don't like to ever refer to this as drama method mm -hmm. because I don't think any one method is the end all. I think you use all kinds of methods. So I think this is something to add to a regular course, uh -huh. let's say, mm -hmm. to maybe enhance that course. Uh, some people respond greatly to using drama techniques. Mm -hmm. Some people are turned off by it. Uh, so no one method fits everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but there has to be, certainly, uh, along with the drama things, then we have to be able to give them the grammar, the structure, the vocabulary. They have to get that also. Mm -hmm. uh, drama is used in English language, which is the principle of what is the principle. え、いうことだったんですが、それに対して、you must be yourself とまず言いましたね。自分自身にならなくちゃいけない。で、English belongs to you。え、英語はあなたのものなんだというふうに思えということですね。え、その後のポイントはなかなか重要だと思うんですが、アメリカ人やイギリス人のように喋らなくてもいい。日本人としての自分を表現すればいいんだと。こういう言い方なんです。え、で、え、さらに、英語人口の多くは、non-native speakers of English じゃないか。えー、いうふうにも言っていましたね。えー、で、コツは、リラックスすること、そしてコンセントレーションだと、えー、いうわけですね。よく、えー、この、ボキャブラリーとストラクチャー、構造を足せば、それが言葉だというふうに言うんだが、そうじゃない。そこに、要請を、自分自身を、えー、この、加えなくちゃいけない、いうわけですね。えー、ファイブセンセスという話もありましたね。えー、センスオブヨーセルフ、自分自身、それから、えー、他。次にその関係、そして場所、プレイス、最後は目的というようなそういうセンスを、感覚を持たなくちゃいけないということですね。えー、さらに、えー、自分のこの考え方に対して、one method isn't, the, isn't end all というような言い方をして、この一つのやり方だけが全てじゃないんだと。それで全部賄えるというわけじゃない。いろんな方法をやっぱりやらなくちゃいけないんだということ、これもやはりですね、一つだけ押し付けようとしていないというポイントなんでしょうかね。Well, your summary was so good, Sensei, that there's hardly anything to add. But I really enjoyed his speech altogether. He, he is very concise. It's obvious that he's very, he's thought out all of these things and has great experience in, in all of them. But、um, it's a good reminder not only for students of English, but also for teachers. That we basically do want people to express, our students to be expressing themselves.、Mm -hmm. And I find in, in the classroom that when I give my students a chance, they really enjoy it. Because often in Japanese education, there's not enough chance to do that anyway.、Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah.、Right. Well,、uh, it was a good discussion. And this is Masaki Osugi saying goodbye. And this is Valerie Kane. And Jeff Clark saying bye bye. So long.